This is why it's awesome to have an ADU in the backyard. We built this apartment three years ago and the tenant stayed here for three years and she recently moved out. But I'm gonna show you, I can walk out my back door and I can come around this side entrance. Hold on a second. And in the future, this is gonna be my office because this is a thousand square foot apartment and I've laid it out in the design phase to where I can section it off. And this side, side that we're walking into right now is all soundproof. So you can imagine this could be my office in uh, the future. Right now I'm renting it out. So it's considered the master bedroom. So you walk in here and it's just a real big office space. This will be shut off. And, I, and if you notice, I didn't put um, any switches when you come inside this door because I know in the future, it's just gonna be walled off. Also, I added a uh, separate thermostat. So I had to have two different zones to make sure I could control the AC independent. And then unfortunately, even though there's a separate water meter and um, power meter and uh, also you know, fiber optic for cable and internet, there is going to be, sh I'm gonna have to provide the utilities whenever I do occupy this side. This is 300 square foot. And inside here, I just have a closet. That's the AV rack. I wanted to make sure I had the, the panel on my side and also the attic access on my side because if I'm gonna be using this side and the tenant on the other side, I wanted to be able to be in control of this. I didn't wanna facilitate working through the tenant. Hey, I need to get in there to reset a breaker or to do something in the attic. This will be like a little kitchenette area. I also did an in-floor outlet and there's a uh, couple of ethernet cables so you can hard line in if I put a desk there. On this side, it's just a half bath. Let me just see if I can turn this. That's my backyard. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But this was in the design stage that I was considering having an office. And I have um, some pictures, maybe some video of me actually putting the soundproofing up before the drywall went in. And this drywall in this room, all on this side, is um, commercial grade. So it's half inch and it's a lot stronger than uh, normal residential grade like drywall so it's just thicker extra safe so now this is the 700 square foot side and let me just quickly go over here where the tenant would be coming in i'll show you the driveway and the garage later but this is the side entrance over there they'll park and they can go into the garage they walk around here and then they'll go inside their entrance also this is a a, a big open mew just like a fancy walkway for the community so they'll come up in here and then this will be their living room and inside here i was really concerned with space and i didn't want it to be too cramped knowing that it would only be 700 square foot so what i did is i, I mounted the tv i put the in ceiling uh in in wall speakers and the in sub in wall sub and i had everything run up there to save space and i'm providing the tv in this apartment and i did the high ceilings in the the kitchen i did uh Whoops, I don't know all the lights in here. <laughs> I did the high cabinets and everything in here because again, I was worried about it being crammed. And um, I'm using this opportunity since it's vacant to film some videos, you know, some how-to helpful videos for tenants. And um, this will be their bedroom. I think uh, it's got, let me back out so you can see it's hard. I also provided a TV in this room, mounted it on the wall because, again, I know it was going to be tight, so I wanted it to be, you know, take advantage of all the space I could. And another thing I did, that's the HVAC inside there. Originally, I had a door here to shut off the washer and dryer, but I wanted the return or the AC air vent to be easily accessible and 
so the tenant can change it easy. So we open this up so it's in the common area and it can filter in air. Also, I um, got some compact washer and dryers and then we did lots of cabinet and storage. Um, nothing special in there. Uh, let me show you the full bath. See how they got a separate thermostat right here? That's important. You gotta think of these things in advance during the design stage. So here is the bathroom. Did a zero entry uh, shower because my, my thought process was I wanted to build it on the first floor because if there's anybody older or whatever, I, and also a liability, I don't like stairs and tripping hazards and everything, but it's kind of cool putting in like the seat and everything. And I remember going through the building process and I know every nook and cranny of this whole place, but let me go show you the parking area. I provide the garage. Is there anything else showing here? No. Yeah, we even did extra stuff in the ceiling because um, I was really worried about the, the cramped, like small space and nobody will want to be here. And I did lots of windows. These windows are expensive. During the design phase, you'll be like, oh, I don't want to do windows because it's so expensive. But I think it's important to let in light. So here's the walkway. We got a back alley back here and we could share the garage or in the parking because I, I added extra parking that's two parking spaces over there and then there's two right here in front of the garage let me show you one last thing i did to uh, save space so you didn't see a um a uh, hot water heater because I decided to put it in the garage right here that's a on-demand water heater and um, during the design phase I was really factoring in some of that stuff also it's kind of hard to see but you, there, there used to be two windows here because this is just a two-car detached garage that I tied into let me show you my backyard you can see the difference in the roof see that's a separate power meter that I um, installed and I dug the trench before the driveway went in and tied into that utility all our power lines in this part of the neighborhood this area of Orlando are buried so you don't see any power lines it's pretty nice but as you can see you can tell that that was just like a square two car garage and then I decided to build a thousand square foot apartment one story and I tied it in to um, that roof um, one other thing I'd like to show you is my neighbor over there had a three-car garage and she built a uh, garage apartment on top you can kind of see it that orange one I don't know if I can zoom in but um, yeah she used a GC and um, I used um, I did it myself since I live right here I I did a what's called owner builder and I pulled the permits by myself and as owner builder and then I hired the contractors and I paid them cash. So I really saved a lot of money, even though I did some fancy stuff in there. In the long run, I, I, you know, I came out on top opposed to using a GC like my neighbor did. My neighbor used the GC and she paid a lot. I noticed the, the GC was cutting a lot of corners to save money and um, she wasn't involved. She didn't know much what was going on. So I guess the GC is trying to build it as cheap as possible so he can save as much and make some profit on the back end when it's all done. Obviously he wants to make a profit, but for me, I think quality it was important to me. It's gonna be in my backyard and I wanted to be involved in everything. So like, for example, the, um, the block guys that I hired, I made sure they, they filled this in with bricks, with like, you know, the, the cement blocks. Cause the first thing they wanted to do was put wood in. And I'm like, no, 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 heck no, that's gonna look ugly. I mean, eyesore. Also, I don't want the sound going through there if I use this garage in the future. So I also um, upgraded this um, motor for the garage door to one of them silent ones too, because I was just trying to factor in as much as I could. And I got um, Wi Fi out here because if there's like a Tesla or something, you know, it's just you gotta spend a lot of time and effort figuring out and thinking really hard, like what is the best situation? And then even then, whenever you finish, 
you you might run into little weird things that you didn't like like for example the um the trash can and recycling like i have my own two in here behind in the fence but i'm like oh crap i don't want them to have to keep them inside the garage so i had to do pavers and i made some extra paver space right here so they can put them here and even then it's not ideal nobody really wants to see trash cans oh and the last thing is these pavers require extra maintenance but i wanted it to be nice and neat and just kind of seem like they had like a side yard here so um i got a i got some paver guys coming out here that's going to reseal all this but that's it I, I hope this is helpful all right see you guys bye